Hello internet, welcome to GED. Today we got some beautiful bagels and chive cream cheese and we're talking about being crazy. So first off, let's check out these uh, beautiful bagels. They're lightly toasted, they are onion bagels, and they have that beautiful chive cream cheese on there. Oh man, check that out guys, that is magnificent all around. And for me, when I eat bagels, I love a lot of cream cheese. Some people only do like a thin layer on there, but a bagel just isn't a bagel without the cream cheese. So let's try it out. Oh yeah, and these are Lenders bagels, which if you don't know what Lenders bagels are, um, they're pretty much just like a standard uh, grocery supermarket in the fruit, not quite frozen section, but usually in the freezer aisle. But they are delicious, and they're very, very soft. A little bit of cream cheese on there. Okay, so what do I mean when I say be crazy? Well, when I was younger, I was always going out and doing stuff. I would just go my own way, do whatever the crap I wanted to do, and just be wild. And as you grow older, you kind of lose that sense of adventure, that sense of craziness in your life because you want stability. When you're starting a family or when you're changing jobs as an older person, you can't quite be crazy as you once were. But you got to keep a small aspect of that in your life. For example, do something spontaneous this week. Go on a rafting trip or Go out and ride some four-wheelers that you haven't ridden in quite a while. It's winter time, so jump on a snowmobile. Just do something that, you know, embraces your inner spontaneity, your inner craziness. Don't do something crazy like Fight Club, walk up and punch your boss in the face and quit your job. But you can be crazy, guys. You can be crazy to an extent. Look at that marvelous, kind of hanging out there. There are lesser forms of being crazy as well. For example, um, if you have a big life decision coming up, like do I want to purchase car A, which is a sports car, or car B, which is more stability 
oriented family car. Heck, why not go with the sports car? Well, I'll tell you why, because your wife hates that stuff. But, <laughs> I mean, there's so many different ways that you can embrace your inner self. Maybe you could try playing a game that you've never thought you would play. Go on Steam, search the winter deals, the holiday deals for the season, and maybe buy a game that you never thought you would like. Try it out, see if, you know, it, it might spark an interest in a certain different genre of games. I did that kind of recently. Um, I bought Spellforce 3, which I don't stream, but I do play it a little bit, because I don't think it's really that interesting for other people, but it is kind of an interesting game in its own right. It's kind of a mix between Baldur's Gate and um, Settlers, in a way. Building, fighting, whatever. Not generally my genre of game, but, you know, embracing the spontaneity. I took a, took a little um, guess on it, and I, I really liked it. I really, really, really did. By the way, there were four bagels here because these bagels are generally kind of small. I don't have huge hands, but they're, you know, a little bit smaller than my hand. Definitely not the size of Costco bagels. Yet another way you can embrace the crazy is in your financial life. If you're normally a laid-back investor, if you like to just contribute to your 401k or your savings account, and you don't really embrace uh, the volatile nature of the financial markets, you could invest in cryptocurrencies right now. For example, Bitcoin and Ethereum and Monero and all those other coins, they're going crazy right now. You could set aside a chunk of money and just go wild with it. Who knows? Maybe you'll make a pretty profit. I myself am thinking about maybe doing a couple of those things, but we'll see. Guys, what kind of a uh, bagel and cream cheese do you like? Do you like the plain with plain cream cheese? Do you like the sesame seed bagels? Do you like the cheese bagels? How about different types of cream cheese or toppings? Sometimes peanut butter or just pure butter make good toppings as well. Heck, jelly, maybe some uh, berry flavored cream cheese. You never know. Let me know in the comments. cream cheese all over. So guys, that's all I got for this episode. Remember to embrace your crazy and uh, game, eat, and discuss.